Breakthrough Media. look past this. Keep in mind, the so-called voting rights bill is so blatantly unconstitutional, it will never pass the 60-vote threshold in the Senate. So in order for that legislation to become law, Democrats, now led by Biden, who said he would never do it, just like he said the vaccine will protect you from getting COVID, uh, and just like he said a lot of other things that he reneged on, well, that would need the nuke of the filibuster. In other, in other words, getting rid of the filibuster and completely upend the rules of the Senate forever. According to them, the filibuster is racist and a relic of segregation. Now, the very same filibusters that his party used a whopping 328 times in 2020, which actually Joe thinks it's 2020 now, but in the real 2020. Now, the very same filibuster that Democrats passionately defended for years. Let's take a little trip down memory lane, shall we? Speaking of those other candidates, several of them have proposed major structural reforms to our government and to our democracy. These include abolishing the Electoral College, uh, expanding the size of the Supreme Court, setting term limits for justices, abolishing the legislative filibuster. Which, if any of these, do you support? None. What the filibuster does what the extended debate does is to force both sides of the aisle to come together in a bipartisan, compromising way. And this is a video clip from 2005. I'm sure some of you are going to say, well, people change their minds and they grow and they learn. But isn't it interesting that the change takes place when Chuck Schumer is the one in power? Hmm. I've said this before. The left are projectionists. That is the transfer of one's own desires or emotions to another person or entity. If you want to know, for example, how they move and behave and what they're really up to, watch past video clips as evidence here. They want, because they can't get their way on every judge, to change the rules in midstream, to wash away 200 years of history. They want to make this country into a banana republic, where if you don't get your way, you change the rules. Chucky wants to turn America into a banana republic. Now, there are only two Senate Democrats still in favor of the filibuster. That's Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema, who the Washington Post worried was stubbornly opposed to eliminating it. Now, are they racist, Joe Biden? Are they your domestic enemies? Will they be investigated by your Department of Justice and their brand new unit on domestic terrorism? Or is that unit only for parents protesting school boards? They're very dangerous. And breaking tonight, Biden's education secretary is now facing calls to resign after reports that he requested an official letter from the National School Board Association comparing those parents that care about their kids, that go to school board meetings, which have to be boring as hell, to terrorists. Don't look past this. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator, and endowed by their creator with certain alienable rights. With certain alienable rights. We have a power. And we've raised a spoiled brat representative government that needs to be taken to the woodshed. Are you satisfied with the government that owns you? I look at freedom and I appreciate that. Freedom! 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 Breakthrough Media.